Well, PAP candidate for Holland Bukit Tima GRC, Liang Ingwa, took aim at what he called the opposition's disinterest in local matters. He said Singapore MPs have two roles, to debate national issues and take care of people's day-to-day -day well-being. Now, those who are unable or unwilling to do both, he said, should move aside and let someone else do it. Clearly from the campaign so far, our opponents have shown that they have no interest at all to look at local matters. They are only interested to get into parliament for the glamour, for them to make some noises there, for them to give flowery speeches. The candidates have no interest to visit our residents to hear their ground concerns. Have they seriously walked the corridors and staircases of our HDB blocks? Have they really walked through the private estates? I heard they just cycled through. I don't know whether have they really walked through. Before the campaign started, I heard from residents that they show up in a few blocks, mainly to take some pictures so that they can post it on their Facebook, on their website. You know, they visited some blocks. One of my residents was very sharp to observe this. He said, this group of people, they come, go up to a block, in the next 10 minutes, they come down. So this surely can go to the Singapore Books of Record for the fastest house visit in Singapore. You know, to go in 10 minutes, you are able to engage a resident and come out. Another PAP candidate for Holland Bukit Tima, Christopher de Souza, says keeping Singapore safe is a sacred duty, and to jeopardize this would be irresponsible. He was referring to proposals by the Singapore Democratic Party on cutting the country's defense budget. Mr. de Souza shared how he grew up in a military family. He said his father signed on with the military in 1965 at the age of 18, foregoing a potential career in medicine. Now he was selected to train as a fighter pilot and flew in the first. Black Knights team. As a result, Mr. De Souza says a defence is in his blood, as it is in the blood of every Singaporean. SDP's proposal to almost halve the defence budget will ambush Singapore's sovereignty. I say this sincerely, straight, eye to eye to my residents. I tell you sincerely, honestly, straight face, no political ambition, this will ambush Singapore's sovereignty. I said that at the last rally. They say cut the defence budget to half of what it is today over three to five years. In this environment, my friends, in this geopolitical environment, 2015, that is dangerous, opportunistic. The People's Action Party's new face, Amrin Ahmed, who's contesting Sambawang GRC, says the Singapore story is one of a united community. He shared his personal experience of living that story and urged voters to choose the party that has been with them for the last 60 years. I'm doing okay today. I work as a lawyer. But I have not forgotten my past, how my parents struggled, how Singapore was like in my growing up years. And you shouldn't too. I am here today because of the Singapore system, prudent PAP policies that enable ordinary people like you and me to grow and develop and have good opportunities. Yes, there are challenges. There will always be. Things are never perfect. But we should work together at doing better and never lose sight of how we got here today and our values. Don't forget, do not forget that unity with the PAP government, supporting one another, that commitment to build a better Singapore. We must have a clean, honest government, progress for all. Dr. Lim Wee Kek, who's also contesting in the PAP Sembawang GRC team, says more health care facilities are needed in the constituency to serve the aging population. And the new health care cluster that's coming in the north is going to be the biggest in the country when it's completed. 
our residents here are currently well served by GP clinics in the estate, two big polyclinics in Yishun as well as Woodlands. For tertiary care, many of our residents go to Kutekwat Hospital. With our aging population, more healthcare facilities will be needed. We can expect to see a new polyclinic, a new primary healthcare centre in Sambawang. The North will also be home to a major healthcare cluster comprising of a tertiary healthcare, tertiary healthcare hospital, community hospital, specialist outpatient clinics, as well as long-term facility care. That will be the Woodlands Integrated Health Campus. And the site is located right where roughly where we are now. Now, another candidate for Sembawang, incumbent Bikram Nair, spoke about the role of an MP. He says it's twofold, working with residents to identify and solve problems, plus the bigger responsibility of speaking up in Parliament on behalf of residents. Being an MP has also been a bigger responsibility. It has also involved the opportunity to speak in Parliament on issues that are important to you. Uh, and in many ways, we have had a lot of cooperation on many different schemes. Many of you gave feedback uh, in earlier years that you were concerned about, uh, about medical help, about whether or not you would be covered for important uh, critical conditions. Uh, you were also concerned about conditions being excluded. The new MediShield Life Package that will be coming up soon, I think, will answer a lot of these concerns. The details will come out in November, and I believe that this, is, uh, this will be good for many of our residents. CPF was also an issue that many people uh, had, were concerned about. They had two concerns about CPF. One concern was, is my money safe? Is it going to be there? The second concern, and perhaps this is the one that most people had, is will I have enough for retirement? So the amendments to CPF scheme, which I think I've discussed with uh, many of my residents in dialogue after dialogue, uh, have really gone a long way to address this. Now everyone knows that they have three options. And of these three options, you can put aside more money and get more money in retirement, or put aside a bit less and get, less, uh, and get a bit less in uh, retirement. But this is really uh, a choice that you have. And the CPF is there to help you with this. New PAP candidate for Sembawang, Ong Yi Kang, says uh, he wants a Singapore society that's united. He used the example of the 2011 general election and how he noticed greater political divides after it than before. And so Mr Ong says that now, more than ever, it is time to work together. In this general election, you have the power to write the last chapter of the PAP government or to write the first chapter of a new PAP. Your vote in this GE matters much more than you think. The PAP is prepared to build upon our legacy and evolve with the times. Technology, it is changing governance. Technology, it is changing politics. And we need now, more than ever, to work together. So above all, I want Singapore to be united, to be a united society. And PAP, <laughs> PAP has always been the party working towards unity. We stand for progress, we stand for prosperity, we stand for peace, and above all, we stand for a united Singapore. PAP candidate for Yuhua SMC, Grace Fu, criticised the SDP's proposals, saying they are simply focused on spending more money. The real reason is that they are not interested in you. They are interested in politics only. They want to get into parliament and they will sacrifice long-term interests of Singapore, if necessary, to get elected. Beware! of these people. It is important to understand what the party stands for and what the leader stands for because the fundamental values will guide and direct their policies. SCP is using emotions, populist policies and leading Singapore down the slippery road that many other countries are trying to come back up but cannot. Don't follow that path. 
At that same rally, candidate for Bukit Batok SMC David Ong spoke about good governance and how it ensures that the country and the constituencies are run effectively. He urged residents to continue supporting the PAP. Good governance means having good, honest and uncorrupted leaders. It's about doing what is right instead of what is popular. Populist governments become a gay becomes a game of always promising low taxes and big government entitlements with the resulting deficit kicked down the road for future generations to bear. We must be careful. Good governance is also very much about being an effective government, a government that gets things done for her people and serves the interests of her people and not the party. Good governance means being grounded. It means sleeping every night knowing that the weight of the nation rests on your shoulders and waking up the next morning knowing that the weight does not get any lighter. It is knowing that each decision affects millions of people.